Hey, welcome back everybody to my good author series and we're picking up another episode and so let's hop right in. Arthur. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. A civil war? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. Just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well... Wow. Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right then. Let's go rob some food. This way, on me. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrified. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lamorne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all... Who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shining. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. 
It's a rundown old plantation house, down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. something if you're gonna stop, okay? Hear that? Someone's on the track. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, a wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back, they look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be shady there. I reckon we can leave our mouths up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. We can get a view on it from that wall up there. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. See anything? No. Yes. Yes. Well, they're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. Down by the road, we do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? You ain't seen anything worth shooting or stealing? Can you look again for me? I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, and then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, 
I'm always up for a performance. So? We're gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. So, you gonna make a move? Could be promised. What do you got? Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yep. the wagon, huh? It's rough over there. We need to get these back. Come on. G up. Fall in. Hey, Riders, coming our way. Okay. Keep a cool head. What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. For talking's almost up. You see, we already dropped a bunch of your people to get this wagon. You gonna make us drop the three of you as well? You hear that? I can't see anyone chasing us. 
I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I, against my better judgment. Just, you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... No, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yep. Camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <clears throat> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Oh, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. 
Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought... Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Whoa. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> no, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Wanna do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And... Listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with... The sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <sighs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dress up. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're you're a clown's idiot brother. Mosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look. Sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <laughs> Smoke this pipe. <laughs> Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> pipe. Broke poor mammy's heart. There, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad now.
Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. My brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money! Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother, Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your luck. I'll have one, Fenton. Gonna buy. Jump! We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor! An honest mistake! Boys, get him! Oh, 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 no. You think we wouldn't find you? What the Get up, get up, quick! 
gonna let this go, are they? Over there! They got out the back! Got more coming up! Ah! Ah! You pair of bastards! I just saw them coming out of the alley! Ah! We run the liquor! Moonshine! me never to take up a career in, what was it advertise yeah you think that woman set us up no i don't think so maybe this place is odd uh, i keep seeing those fellas some local militia clearly not too happy to have some new competition i'll go visit old my braithwaite see what's what why we've been making money the chest is filling up again slowly but surely Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. 
I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items herein to the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. That's the old watch, now the ledger and the pistol. Nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Aw, oh, God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck. None of us want nothing to do with you. Rance.
Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. doing here we found this place first yeah easy I'm just looking around for some things hmm. that old revolver yours <laughs> finders keepers ah son of a bitch oh god damn it, damn it. come on Dan where are you going come on it's out the lead This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war. And justice went out. Ugh. June 64. God.
Let's go, girl. Yep. Forgot about us. Just when they needed us, they threw us away like, like shit on their boot. I'm, times wasn't perfect. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? <laughs> my things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, do you... They are for Ooh, pissing What off. are you doing? That's, that's my history. <laughs> ah, God. Damn you. Damn you. I still exist. Creep up on you, you know. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. 
Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot. Then you'll get eaten. <sighs> what a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary... If you carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <clears throat> the 10% have survived. They're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um... Oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, and to the west. Oh, and to the northwest, there. That's probably where we should look. Let's go look, then. Can we find one? Line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. Alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. <laughs> it's got it. Quick, quick. I must get this shot. We caught him. In the middle of his dinner. This is history making, truly. Nature in all its glory and cruelty. Could have been you if you stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't. Okay. So, um, now it's southwest or due west. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. The well, gators got some catching up to do there. Cases, trunks, shoes, boots, belts, Bibles. They'll make anything out of gator leather that the market desires. And all a gator's gonna do with your leather is eat it. Maybe chew on it a while. <laughs> Quite. It's hardly fair. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than... than... alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer. There, in the channel. You see its head? Excellent. Beast in repose. All as calm as the predator lurks. The final sighting was to the northwest of here. Seventeen feet, nineteen feet, twenty-one feet with a five-foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. <laughs> yes, yes, there. Oh, no, he's gone. Ah, can you stop the boat just there, off the island? Sure. But we stop too long. Locals are going to start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please. He's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might. It might just save him from the taxidermist. Um... I, I, I need to face the island? Maybe I want this monster stuffed in on display. Oh, that's the spirit. Out you go, then. Get him and uh, get him to notice you, and then turn tail and run. I don't... Got some juicy fat humans for you to eat. No, 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 no. Come on, Gator. I hope you're slow. Jump in the boat! In, 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 in! Got him! What a specimen! Nearly got him eating me. I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, surely. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. 
This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe, maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. Should do it. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. Oh, I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well. I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Well, I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. Mister? Hello, mister. If you're about it, Chaser, take a poster. If you're anything else, take a seat. You going after Lindsay Waffle? I might be. Or I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. bother you for a minute of your time? All right. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. Girl. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan.
Wofford? I got here a warrant for your arrest, or the other thing if it comes to it. <coughs> a federal warrant? No, 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 that don't mean much in a sovereign territory, mister. We've been beaten down and driven out enough. Let's make a stand, boys. Someone take the big gun. I don't know who this no account bounty is. All that remains is to take you and damn you to hell. Oh, you bastard. Girl. Now, sit tight. I'll get us to San Denis. I won't go there. I won't. Be really up to you, partner. a piece of you, Mr. Wofford. Now, let's get you back.
You're outside the law, mister. This is, this is illegal. And immoral. And, and a whole lot more besides. Who's that warrant from, huh? Oh, the U.S. government? But it ain't valid. Because I'm no longer a citizen of this so-called United States. Oh, this ain't de jure. The federal government don't have no jurisdiction over me. I'm a citizen of the free state of Lemoyne. And am subject to state law alone. Shit. Understand that, you dumb bastard? You test my patience today. Our journey is almost at an end. Oh, I hope the night folk get you, you son of a bitch, and hang you from a tree. Yeah, this is it. Damn the police. Damn every one of them. Traitor. Come on. Federalist pigs! Got a live one for you. Well, looky here. We got a genuine Lamont Raider in the building. <laughs> Make the poor fella comfortable in one of our cells. <laughs> Bet you ain't felt a bed in a while. Damn traitor's bed. Get me off of here. Calm down. Well, that's what they were, and not a penny more. I'm worth every penny.
dead end. <laughs> you got nowhere to go, bounty hunter. I ain't here to kill you. Wouldn't matter if you were. There's only one way out of here, and that's through me. Come easy. I'll say something to the law. <laughs> it ain't gonna be easy. You're gonna have to draw on me to get me out. You might have found me, but you won't beat me, bounty hunter. Bounty hunt, son of a bitch! Damn you! Damn this! Okay, now. Comfortable enough for you? Okay, girl. You shot me. You didn't even have a decency to do it right. You duel a man and you ought to put him down. Not knock him out and tie him up. You got no decency, bounty hunter. got me in my younger days. I would have put one in the middle of your eyes before you even blinked. You ain't nothing special. And you ain't gonna stay sharp for very long. None of us do. I wish you killed me back there. A real man would have killed me. A real man wouldn't tie me like this. That's Big Josh, all right. Hey, he looks heavy. Can we take that bounty off of you? I can manage him fine. I don't deserve this. I deserve to go out with some damn honor. I live by the gun, let me die by it, damn it. That's what, what I deserve, you damn sneak. You damn gut shooter. Lord of mighty. You make me sick. You got no pride. Just coyotes fighting over someone else's kill. 
I bet you got a price on you, too. Somewhere. No one shoots like you do. Hasn't had some practice. Here we are. Strawberry. Got Brown here. Ah, Mr. Brown. Come on, now. Make him comfortable downstairs. Forget about me. Now, leave me to my peace. Pays right here. You make you work for it? He dueled me, so I'd say that's he obliged. Hey, uh, no more posters going up here for a while. Mayor don't like the way it looks. We are a tourist task. But after all. There, girl. <laughs> chance to stay alive. You gonna come quietly? I surrender, okay? Damnation! All right, I'm taking you. You in need of transport, sir? You okay there, mister? You need me to move. Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. 
Or I was some know-it-all, big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. <sighs> Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm-hmm. Are you looking for that fellow's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks. Hey there, girl. You done good, girl.
Don't you? Well, look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. No, you for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, yeah. let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Can I help you there? Sure. We're supposed to be my business partners here. He arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. town and you're helping everybody and everywhere there's troubles and have you met my partner arthur morgan no i met your son the sheriff okay mr gray here was saying how he had problems with a family a family of degenerates oh well nobody likes degenerates the hag and her inbred sons they ruined this county they killed my uncle you know that ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants! I don't know. Mongrels! Slave fuckers! All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Passion, you. Yep.
crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. some horses horses yeah we had a, an appointment with mr. Braithwaite I believe yeah I never heard about any of this her partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here but perhaps we should look elsewhere well I okay then but head on up to the stables someone will come see you Yeah! Behind you. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. That's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. Head around the front, hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Yeah! Whoa. You rest up. Let me do the talking. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is you boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. This one's uh, old faithful. <laughs> he was a champion, briefly. Until he hurt. <laughs> Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. Alright, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Hey, easy now. Easy there. Marshman, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier? 
You're gonna lead the stallions. This way. Come on. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we'll regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being right... Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Hey, hey! You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. How easy there. you boys want heard you was uh, heard you pay good prices for horses oh we'll buy more or less anything pop that's so sure pop i'm clay davies that's my brother clive we're twins john arthur javier <clears throat> so what are you cuban no i don't like cubans that so? Maybe. Why, well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, 
I ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 654. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for him. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys, but I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you? We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Arthur! Arthur! What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunts. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until <laughs> we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So? I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. I'm too tired for this. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. wants us to have a talk with Trelaw about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hey, wait up! Stay with me, please. Now, as I was saying, hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. As <laughs> soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. 
Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> hmm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... Where are you off to? He's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. I think it's just up here. Get up! Easy. Where the hell are you headed? Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. See anything there? This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. What do you think? Big struggle. Pretty recently, I... Maybe, uh, 12 hours ago? But no body? Not yet. Look. Huh? Tracks. Come on. Hmm. They went down the path. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. <laughs> well. Lead the way, then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way. Never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. What are you doing? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> uh, 
you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> Stay there. Uh, where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again, you hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Yeah. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal, just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Cornfields. Must be it. Easy. That's good. Ah, let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that shack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry. They won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Don't deal with them, my brothers! Who 
knows what he told them. Let's get after those sons of bitches. Find them. They're trying to hide in the field. There's one. Over here. One more, Charles! Look at the birds! Go that way! I see something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. <laughs> He's mine! Let me take him. Let me get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Shots are coming from that barn. Come on. Easy. You almost got hit. Uh. I'm hit. Let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. Sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Ah, uh, I hope you're right. I thought you wanted to get out of here. Ah! Okay. Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. 
What'd you tell her? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more, more and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head. Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats. Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, 
Let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll it's make the introductions, Arthur. The Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.